Springtime is here. Flowers are blooming, birds are singing, and love is in the air. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful flower crown. So what you're going to need is some fake flowers. I got mine at the dollar store. Some thick floral wire. Possibly some thin floral wire. Some pliers that are going to be able to bend and cut through wire. A hot glue gun, mine is pink. Some green gardening tape. Glue sticks for the hot glue gun. And a pair of scissors to make this glorious crown. So first you're going to take the floral wire and you're going to measure it to the width of your head with a little bit of excess wire to work with. And then you're going to snip it with your pair of pliers. So then you're going to cut off two more strands of the wire that are exactly the same length. So you end up with three strands of wire. Then you're going to braid them all together. After you're done, it should look something similar to this. And then you're going to measure out the size of your head again and secure it all. And then fasten it with the pliers. And to make sure that there's no pointy wire poking your head, you're going to take the gardening tape and wrap it around it. Ta-da! Then you're going to take your fake flowers, pull them off the stem, then turn them around and there's going to be a little pokey thing. You're going to take your pliers and you're just going to snip that right off so it's nice and flat. So now I'm just taking my flowers and setting them out in a desired pattern. This is going to help give me an idea of what it's going to look like. Then you're going to take your hot glue gun and just dab a dot of glue right in the center of the bottom of the flower. And then press it into the wire. You're just going to want to hold it there for a while to make sure it's nice and secure. And just keep on doing that with the pattern of flowers that you have set out. So now I'm just taking some tiny purple flowers and I'm just filling in the gaps because I want this one to be nice and full. Voila! So pretty! Now I'm just taking this thinner crown that I made earlier and another option you have is to take the leaves from the flowers and just go ahead and cut them with scissors. And take the front of the leaf and apply some hot glue just in the crease of the leaf and then apply it right to the back of the crown. And this helps hide any gloopy glue. <laughs> The gloopy glue and any kind of exposed spots and it's just nicer feeling on the head when you put the leaves in now I know there's so many different ways and methods out there to make flower crowns or flower halos but for me this just works and it was fast it was easy and I had so much fun creating it I'm very happy with the way that it came out and I hope you guys liked it too I love spring it reminds me of beauty new life and a fresh new start out with the old and in with the new. You may not be able to go back and change the past, but you can live in the now and look forward to the future. It's a new season, a chance for you to step out and fully come alive. <laughs>